Have you ever wondered what would have happened if the Cold War had ended differently? It's a question that invites us to delve into one of the most defining periods of the 20th century, the Cold War. Spanning almost five decades from the mid-1940 SS to the early 1990s, this was not a conventional war. It was a clash of ideologies, a battle of nerves, and a dance of diplomacy between two superpowers, the United States and the Soviet Union. The Cold War was characterized by a tense relationship between these two nations. It was a time of suspicion and mistrust, covert operations and espionage, all under the constant shadow of a potential nuclear war. The world was essentially split into two blocks, each aligning themselves with either the democratic, capitalist ideals of the United States or the communist, socialist principles of the Soviet Union. This period also saw an unprecedented arms race. The United States and the Soviet Union were both hell-bent on acquiring superior military capabilities. Nuclear weapons became the symbol of power, and the number of warheads in each nation's arsenal was a testament to their might. In the midst of this was the space race. The cosmos became a new frontier for competition, with both the United States and the Soviet Union striving to be the first to conquer space. It was a race for technological superiority, a race to showcase their prowess to the world. Behind all this was the ideological battle between communism and capitalism. Each superpower was convinced that their system was the best, the most effective, the one that should be adopted worldwide. The Cold War was as much about winning hearts and minds as it was about military and technological dominance. The Cold War, as we know it, culminated with the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991. The United States emerged as the sole superpower, marking the victory of capitalism over communism. But what if this wasn't how the story ended? What if the Cold War had a different conclusion? As we venture into this thought experiment, let's reimagine the world's geopolitical landscape and how it could have been reshaped by a different ending to the Cold War. Imagine a world where the Cold War ended not with the collapse of a superpower, but through peaceful negotiation and cooperation. This isn't a far-fetched notion, but rather a plausible alternate reality that could have transpired. Let's delve into the realm of what if. What if the United States and the Soviet Union, instead of escalating tensions, had chosen the path of diplomacy and negotiation? What if the powerful figures of the time, like Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev, had set aside ideological differences and focused on the common good of humanity? Consider a scenario where Reagan and Gorbachev, during their historic meetings, had reached a mutual understanding, a vision for a world free from the threat of nuclear annihilation. Imagine them acknowledging their nation's shared responsibility to protect the globe, opting for disarmament and promoting peace. In this alternate reality, the Berlin Wall might not have fallen in the dramatic, symbolic manner it did. Instead, it could have been dismantled brick by brick in a conscious act of unity and reconciliation. East and West Germany might have been reunited not through the collapse of the Soviet Union, but through a cooperative initiative between the two superpowers. The arms race, a defining feature of the Cold War, could have transformed into a race for progress and development. Instead of competing to build more potent weapons, the United States and the Soviet Union might have redirected their resources and energy towards improving the quality of life for their citizens and fostering global development. In this alternate ending, the ideological war wouldn't have ended with a winner and a loser. Instead, it would have concluded with two nations realizing that cooperation and mutual respect were far more beneficial than relentless competition and distrust. This alternate ending could have drastically reshaped the world as we know it. A world where the Cold War didn't end in dissolution, but in unity. Not in dominance, but in partnership. Not in division, but in the coming together of two world powers. A world that could have been, and perhaps, a world that can still be. In this version of history, the United States and the Soviet Union would have emerged not as enemies, but as allies. This alternate ending to the Cold War holds immense potential for a reshaped global landscape. The balance of power, international relations, and global alliances would have been significantly altered under this new world order. Imagine a world in which the two superpowers, the United States and the Soviet Union, stood side by side. Their combined political, economic, and military strength would have been unmatched. This cooperative resolution could have led to a redistribution of power, potentially preventing the rise of new polarizing powers and conflicts. This alliance would have also had profound implications for international relations. Instead of the world being divided into two ideologically opposing camps, nations could have been united under a shared vision of peace and cooperation. 
the East-West divide that marked much of the 20th century could have been replaced with a more inclusive and equitable global community. Moreover, this cooperative resolution could have reshaped global alliances. NATO and the Warsaw Pact, instead of being rival military alliances, might have transformed into joint peacekeeping forces. The United Nations could have been strengthened as a truly global organization, with the two superpowers working together to uphold international law and protect human rights. The geopolitical landscape would have also been influenced by the shared technological and scientific advancements of the two superpowers. This could have spurred a global technological revolution, with the United States and the Soviet Union leading the way in space exploration, medical research, and other scientific endeavors. In this imagined world, the Cold War would not have been a time of fear and division, but a turning point towards global unity and cooperation. The United States and the Soviet Union, instead of being locked in a tense standoff, could have been partners in leading the world into a new era of peace and progress. This alliance could have led to a new era of global cooperation and peace. The space race, a product of the Cold War, could have taken a different turn in this alternate scenario. Instead of a competitive sprint towards the stars, it could have transformed into a cooperative journey of shared dreams and mutual goals. In this alternate timeline, the US and the Soviet Union, the two leading space powers of the time, might have pooled their resources and expertise. This collaboration would have resulted in joint space missions, fostering an environment of shared knowledge and collective growth. The moon landing, Mars missions, or even deep space exploration might not have been solitary triumphs, but shared victories for humanity. The effects of this collaboration would not have stopped at space exploration. It would have permeated into various fields of science and technology. The combined might of American innovation and Soviet scientific prowess could have led to groundbreaking advancements. From the development of the internet to advancements in nuclear technology, the possibilities are endless. Imagine a world where the technological divide is bridged by collaboration, where advances are not hoarded, but shared. The competition of the Cold War often resulted in parallel developments, duplicating efforts and resources. In our alternate scenario, these resources could have been used more efficiently, leading to faster and more significant advancements. The benefits of this cooperation would have transcended beyond the scientific community. The common man would have reaped the benefits of faster technological innovation. From daily life to healthcare, from communication to transportation, every aspect of life could have been revolutionized. Moreover, the spirit of cooperation would have encouraged a global scientific community, fostering a culture of shared knowledge and mutual respect. The division of the world into blocks, each guarding its scientific secrets, could have given way to a unified global scientific community working towards the common good. This collaboration could have sped up our progress in space exploration and technological innovation. It's fascinating to ponder how different our world might have been, how much further we could have reached, if the Cold War had ended differently. While this alternate ending to the Cold War is purely speculative, it encourages us to contemplate the possibilities of peaceful resolution and cooperation. In the realm of this imagined history, we've seen a world where the United States and the Soviet Union found common ground, where their ideological differences were bridged not by military might, but by diplomacy and negotiation. It's a world where the power of conversation outweighed the power of nuclear armaments and the strength of alliances wasn't measured in missile ranges, but in mutual respect and understanding. This vision isn't just a fanciful daydream, but a beacon of what could be, a testament to the power of peaceful resolution. It's a poignant reminder that even the most entrenched hostilities can be diffused through dialogue, understanding, and compromise. It illustrates the potential of cooperation over conflict, the promise of unity over division, and the triumph of peace over war. In this alternate reality, we've seen the profound impact of a cooperative global order on science, technology, and the very fabric of international relations. It's a world that is radically different, where the focus has shifted from arms races to space races, from building walls to building bridges. This speculative history also underscores the importance of negotiation. It reminds us that every conflict, no matter how seemingly insurmountable, can be resolved if we are willing to sit at the table, to listen, and to understand. It shows us the power of diplomacy, the art of turning swords into plowshares, the beauty of finding common ground amidst ideological differences. In this world of possibilities, we've learned that cooperation isn't just the key to ending wars, but the cornerstone of progress. 
It's the catalyst for innovation, the engine of prosperity, and the bedrock of a peaceful world. Perhaps, in an alternate universe, this is the history that unfolded. But in our world, we can only learn from the past and strive for a future of peace and cooperation.